hi guys so this is the arduino motion sensor tutorial this tutorial will show you how you can interface a pir motion sensor to an arduino and also to um, make a burglar alarm using it so this project is really simple it involves a, a pir motion sensor uh, an arduino and a piezo buzzer so I don't know if you can see but I have wrapped a small layer of insulation tape around the sensor uh, around the PIM motion sensor I've done this in order to reduce the uh, range of detection of the sensor you don't have to necessarily do it and also I have used a piezo buzzer a small piezo buzzer here as you can see so um, I also used this sort of casing for the buzzer in order to amplify its um, voice coming out of from from it so that it will be louder so i'll just show you the working of uh, this project and uh, the basic interconnections uh, are really simple you just need to give uh, the vcc and ground for the pir motion sensor and you need to connect the signal out from the motion sensor to arduino's intra pin which is uh, digital pin 2 and for the piezo buzzer you just need to connect the ground and Arduino's digital pin number 9 which is a PWM pin and you are done the connections are really simple um, I'll just show you the source code really quickly the source code um, consists of majorly two functions so uh, here first of all when the motion sensor detects a person uh, this particular interrupt uh, routine gets run so this is the routine which runs whenever the sensor detects a person uh, it prints into detected and it also runs this function siren for three times so what siren does is that siren provides the necessary signals to the piezo buzzer uh, in order for uh, creating the alarm sound so the alarm sound is created in this section so it uses uh, the PWM signals to write to the piezo buzzer and thereby creating an alarm sound. I'll just uh, show the demo to you. Um, you'll also notice that while working with the PIR motion sensor, it takes about one or two minutes after you power it up uh, for it to detect a person or an intruder. So it takes that much time to calibrate to the surroundings. And also the delay between successive detections is also about one or two minutes. So you'll have to wait for about one or two minutes after the first detection to uh, for the next one to get or the next person to get detected. So I'll just show you the demo right now. Uh, the sensor offers a range of about six to seven meters. So if you or any of your uh, you know uh, hand or something is in the range of the sensor, it gets detected like this. So right now I just moved my hand past the sensor through the front of it so the alarm got triggered and it rang for about three times you'll also see that the string intruder detected gets printed so that's the basic working of the system whenever you or any part of your body is in the path of the sensor within its range of about six to seven meters it gets detected and the alarm starts uh, going off So I hope you guys build something really cool out of it and have fun.